I want to close with um, with Alexander Solzhenitsyn. First, the quote that is most famous. And oh, how we burned in the camps later, thinking, what would things have been like if every security operative, when he went out at night to make an arrest, had been uncertain whether he would return alive and had to say goodbye to his family? Or if during the periods of mass arrests, as for example in Leningrad, when they arrested a quarter of the entire city, people had not simply sat there in their lairs, paling with terror at every bang on the downstairs door and at every step on the staircase, but had understood they had nothing left to lose and had boldly set up in the downstairs hall an ambush of half a dozen people with axes, hammers, pokers, or whatever else was at hand. The organs of the state would very quickly have suffered a shortage of officers and transport, and notwithstanding all of Stalin's thirst, the cursed machine would have ground to a halt. If, if, we didn't love freedom enough, and even more, we had no awareness of the real situation. We purely and simply deserved everything that happened afterward. We are this close to the jackboots at the door. We're this close. But before they get here, we can stop it from going that far. All we have to do is be guided by grace instead of the law. And you know what grace is, even if you are not a faithful person, even if you're not a Christian, you know what grace is. C.J. Hopkins wrote that whole paper never once mentioning spirituality, faith, Christ, God, but he knows what grace is. It's all over. It's all over that article. Solzhenitsyn uh, was an atheist when this all began, but here's some quotes from afterwards. Since then, I have come to understand the truth of all the religions of the world. They struggle with the evil inside a human being, inside every human being. It is impossible to expel evil from the world in its entirety, but it is possible to constrict it within each person. That's how you do it, one by one. You cannot do it as a collective. <laughs> Quite the opposite happens, as we're seeing. He also said, in keeping silent about evil, in burying it so deep within us that no sign of it appears on the surface, we are implanting it, and it will rise up a thousandfold in the future. When we neither punish nor reproach evildoers, we are not simply protecting their trivial old age, we are thereby ripping the foundations of justice from beneath new generations. So yes, confront evil now. Recognize it as evil. Don't think you're being petty when you are defiant to the tyrants. You're not. You're not being petty. You're not being impolite. You're not causing a scene. And even if you do, what does that matter? Do that before you have to bleed for this. Do that before you're mourning the loss of the people you love to this system. And finally, one more from Alexander Solzhenitsyn before I close. The simple step of a courageous individual is not to take part in the lie. One word of truth outweighs the world. It sounds so simple, but so many people are frightened to death to refuse to take part in the lie. They're frightened to death to even say to someone, you have no authority over me. Your premise is false. What you're asking me to do goes contrary to the truth, and I won't do it. You don't have to use those fiery words. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. But you know, if, if you're going into a store with a mask on and you know it's a farce, stop doing that. Otherwise, you are building the tyranny. <laughs>